Tell her love is that I'm cruising. Bitch, I'm cruising. Bitch, I'm cruising. Hey guys, Star here, and today I'm gonna be showing you the best apps for GFX on mobile. Now, these apps can range from several different uh, things, and honestly, they're some of my best picks. So basically in this list we've been including different apps, some of them are free and some of them are not. Without further ado, let's get into it. Now for app number one, we have Pixelmator. Now Pixelmator is used by a lot of designers and I feel like it's mostly justified. I feel like it's overrated in the fact that everyone must use Pixelmator. But it is a good entry point to those starting out GFX. It is what I personally used to start out, so I can't really criticize too much. But it has a lot of good tools. Um, and honestly, I feel like a lot of you guys could legitimately uh, use it, but it's not something I would 100% use all the time. As you can see, this is live commentary. I'm just kind of like messing around and adding pictures. But to show you truly what it me what it is, basically it has a lot of good effects, and all of them are uh, built in really well. For example, the the add effects category is very good for black and white. There's like different options for black and white, so there's different shades. Also. Uh, something very interesting is that there's also uh, a tone uh, You can adjust the tone of something like the level uh, I, f I don't know. I think it's pretty cool uh, if you're doing a lot of uh, color related work, you know, you can uh, Color balance and stuff like that. So honestly, it's good for the people that like really really know what they're doing So as you can see, I just turned this green into purple and it looks kind of sick. So, you know uh, honestly, I don't like it a lot because I think it's overrated be and I think it lacks too many feet It lacks a lot of features that could be used uh, For example, like if they added like effects features like Ibis paint does I feel like that would be tons of better But yeah overall pixel meter is one of the best apps for GFX when you're starting out Now on the other side of the spectrum we have Ibis paint now Ibis paint is mainly mainly used for drawing and painting but you can do a lot of really sick headers. I'm, gonna, I'm showing you right now the history of headers I made. And also it is very good for those people that are planning to post speed arts. You can, also I'm planning on posting a speed art of this header soon. So if you want to know like how like it ended up faster than just watching a regular speed art video. Then you can also use Ibis Paint for that. Um, if you don't know what I mean it's fine. But Ibis Paint is really really good. And it shows you uh, the entire process that you made. So you don't have to necessarily record a speed arts. I'm honestly not a big fan of this feature because it doesn't really like show exactly what you did uh, to get to do that but it is very good in terms of effects I think it's very much stacked with them and you know there's just a lot of cool things that you can make in Ibis Paint I've seen like a lot of really good headers you can look up Ibis Paint speed art and you'll definitely find some quality content there um, honestly I think Ibis Paint is definitively one of the best apps for GFX simply because of how simple and, e and easy it is to, to use Although it is a bit complicated when you're starting out, but once you know what you're doing, you can really get a hang of how things work. For example, there's a lot of features that I don't understand what someone would use for, like freaking auto paint. Like that's for people that are plant painting, I know. But you know, there's also a lot of good features like um, aberration, like that little like movie filter thing that you can do. Um, you know, you can just add and do this you know manga background also a very good feature that i use in my tutorial you know things like that are very uh good for people that are like looking for a powerful well this is necessarily the most powerful thing of all time but it is very good for those people who really want to get creative and into their things like i said a lot of their effects and animation uh, effects are very good and that's why i think ibis paint is one of the best apps last but certainly on not least we have pixar Pixar is very good for making header for making not making headers for adding uh, PNGs to your headers if you're using Pixelmator or Ibis Paint. Um, I'm gonna show you how I do it, how exactly do it. But pretty much what I mean is that it's not good for making banners by them using only Pixar. If you're using Ibis Paint or Pixelmator, you're better off using Pixar as like to supply you PNGs. This is what I mean. So basically, P Pixar has a lot of good um, PNGs. Um, that you can use because the stickers community is huge so basically you can look in the stickers section and you can pretty much find anything you can pretty much find the freaking um one piece things here and you'll find plenty of pngs um of one piece and i think it's very good 
for the people that are like tired of searching safari for for fake pngs in here you can pretty much find the pngs yourself um so what i mean is for example let's say i want this png i already have it but pretty much when i go to apply here and then i go to if you don't see this what i'm what's in black right now if you don't see it uh then you can just go to background then you go to the to this little thing here uh the blank background where you just not come out of um and you basically resize it or whatever i recommend just keeping the original size it went and you can apply now since i have pixar gold i don't think it's necessarily going to tell me that it's thing that can save it so i just go to next save and then i go to download photo and that's it that's pretty much how i get how i got uh, this png now there's pngs for practically everything if you're looking for something more specific like luffy specifically like wano luffy like in a samurai thing you can definitely find it now you want to go to click apply again and if it doesn't appear and if it and if if you don't want to keep going background then go to blank background um you can practically you can practically you can practically go here if it's here then you go to apply now if it says loading image let it load because if you click ok immediately nothing's gonna appear um so yeah just do that so then you go next save download photo boom you have downloaded a png and it is in my gallery so yeah honestly it's very good to help you get pngs uh, it's also very good because like most of the stuff there doesn't have a watermark uh, unless you're using it for filters which is my next point so my next point is basically you can use um you can use it for filters and effects for example if i go to effects here you know there's a lot of effects i can put luffy on um not, not all of them are good but you know some of them are um can't specifically find a good one they're all really good if you want to like recolor characters and if you have like a final product um like over here i'm gonna go abyss paint i'm gonna go to abyss paint real quick i'm gonna go save this nah not this not this this is bad uh we're gonna go save this save as a png then i go back to pixar gonna select this photo and we're gonna and we're gonna see now you'll see this in pretty much all of my tutorials and my header tutorials but basically it's good if you want to make uh things a little lighter if you want to make things stand out that type of stuff uh let's see where vhs at yeah there's also a vhs effect now this is for pre for pixar premium i cracked pixar so thank god i don't have to pay for it um but basically if you want to like recolor something and if you want to like see if like the, if you can make any final changes to something by all means use pixar and that is why it is one of the best apps for gfx on mobile